Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an eye look with how I created this look here. And I'm using the new ABH and Jackie Ina, I believe is her name. I throw away the box. So um, this is what the palette looks like. I wanted to create a bronzy look today. So this is what I came up with. And if you like to hear my first impressions, even though I am very, very familiar with the ABH um, formula and I really do enjoy it but if you like to see how I created this look just keep on watching okay guys so I want to create like a bronzy uh, look with this palette right here with the ABH Jackie palette so I'm going to start with this color right here which is called ginger so I debated for a while whether I wanted to get this palette or not. Um, I do love ABH palettes, but I wasn't sure. And then I finally went ahead and I got it. Um, they had it on sale at, um, at Macy's. So um, I went ahead and I took the plunge because I really I think the colors in it are very, very pretty. You can create many different looks and I really think thought I would enjoy it so here we go after we're done I'll go ahead and swatch some of the colors with my amazing swatching abilities <laughs> so I've been kind of out for the count this weekend um, on Friday, I had my second set of injections for my back and they didn't tell me they were going to do a different protocol in which this time I've had these sets of injections like within the last, I don't know, I would say within the last 12 years I've had this is like the fourth time I do this. And um, I always leave of course a little sore. Um, I do get headaches for about a week afterwards from the uh, from the medication they put on my back and then eventually they go away but normally after the surgery surgery I didn't have surgery after the procedure I'm able to walk you know I'm just come home I'm a little loopy you know I sleep for the afternoon and you know that's it well this time they use lidocaine and they're with the um, the rest of the medication and um, you know I could feel my legs and everything felt normal but when I went to get it from the wheelchair when they took me outside to get in my husband's truck I almost fell face forward because I went to get up and my legs just it was almost like they were not connected to like my thighs were not connected to my hips and I almost went face forward okay um I'm gonna go a little darker now with this one here that is called credit so anyways when I went to go get in the truck I had a hard time getting in because it's like I had no control on my legs whatsoever well that scared the heck out of me because I thought well maybe you know the doctor hit a nerve he hit something that's you know now I can't walk so the lady said no it's probably just you know the nurse I walk that will me on no it's probably just the um the medication they gave you to relax you and I said no I don't think so because you know I don't I've never felt this on my legs before so anyway we left and I thought well, maybe it's just something that's gonna be you know just temporary or whatever we went to um, go get some breakfast and when I got out of the truck and I put my feet on the ground, I told my husband, I can't, I can't walk. So we came home and I could barely get in the house. He had to really help me get in the house. And um, this is not the brush I was using. What was I using? And anyways, um, um, why are you wet? Are you wet or cold or what? Oh, I was next to a cup that is very cold. Anyway, so, um, you know, we had a hard time getting in the house 
So I called the doctor's office right away and I spoke to his assistant and that's when she told me that it was just that they used new medication. I said, why don't you tell your patients this? I mean, this is crazy. So she said, oh, it'll last anywhere from six to 24 hours. And it lasted like, I was feeling like that. That was on Friday until yesterday around six or seven o'clock at night that I had to hold on to my furniture and stuff to get around because I couldn't do it otherwise. So that was not fun. So I am going to use this one right here right now. This one is called Lituation. And I'm gonna try a brush. If not, I will try it with my finger. So that was not a pleasant experience and I was very annoyed that they didn't even tell me that they had changed my medication. And um, that's just not nice. So the videos that I had recorded that I put up yesterday and today were videos that I had recorded last weekend. And thank goodness for that because there is no way that I felt up to recording yesterday, Friday or yesterday. So it's a good thing I have something pre-recorded. I keep using it. Every time I pick up, I pick up a different brush. Okay, I'm gonna use this gold right here. This palette is very pretty. It's definitely beautiful, so for darker skin tones, which I'm, I'm, I think that's what it was meant to be. But I like it. It's the first time I use it. I have not used it before. It feels a little different to me than the regular ABH palettes. It doesn't feel as um, as powdery. Do you guys, if any of you guys own it, do you feel that it's a little different? I mean, I usually have like a lot of fallout by now and I really don't have any, so which is very strange for ABH. I mean, I'm going very softly. I'm not putting a lot of product on my brush, but still, normally by now I have more fallout on my face and I don't have any right now. All right, I'm going to go for the first color, that ginger color, and oh, I think I picked up a little too much. So has the weather cooled off where you guys live? It is still pretty warm over here. Oh, I hope I brought my, oh, if not, let me see if I can use this, or SZA. I don't think these are mats, hold on. No, nope, it's not a mat. <sighs> okay, hold on guys, I have to go get, there's really nothing here. Like a vanilla color that I can use to clean up. All right, I picked up my Wet on Wild Boule. And I'm gonna clean up a little bit. Yeah, it's still been like in the in the nineties over here is crazy. Very hot. No, in the mornings and in the evenings it's been nicer. It's been uh, not as much humidity and a little cooler. But then it gets really, really hot. All right. Um, I'm going to try to take a little bit of this. Hopefully it's not a topper. Oh, that is pretty. 
Okay, and I'm gonna put it like right here in the center between the gold and the brown. That is a pretty color. And kind of try to blend everything in. Getting a little bit of fallout now. This is where the brown, the dark brown is. I'm not adding any product. I'm just kind of trying to clean up and make sure everything is blended together. Okay, I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I'm going to get the dark brown and put it as close to my lash line as possible. I'll tell you her shadows blend so easily. I really like her formula. Okay, I'm gonna take this cream. Um, this is by Essence, and this is like a bone color. And I'm, you know what? Let me do the black first. That's what I did the last time, and it ended up. Um, I'm gonna turn this off for a second. I don't like to really watch people do their. You guys, waterline. so I went ahead and I did my um, waterline, and I put mascara. I used the Osteos Booster from. Uh, Lancome and the mascara that I I'm using is the Too Faced which has the worst wand I have ever used in my life it is this is the uh, damn girl mascara I think it's called yeah damn girl mascara look how fat this thing is this is the it is so hard to get in your lashes because it is you can't get to the root of your lashes this 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 is like humongous and I mean I don't use non waterproof mascara on my lower lashes because it will smudge but let me tell you if you can use any kind of mascara i don't think you'll be able to use that on your lower lashes so this is the the uh, cover girl exhibitionist is it no telescope and it's not cover girl it's l'oreal oh boy and waterproof and that's what i use on my lower lash line and yeah the actual mascara the actual product for the uh, Too Faced, it's not bad. It's just the app, the the wand is is horrible. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that um, beige and I'm going to put it on my waterline. It is not very pigment pigmented, which I like because I don't like for it to look like stark white down there. So I think that can look a little odd also. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with a highlighter and go in my inner corner. And I thought this had a highlighter. I guess not. Okay. I think I wanna use this one from um, Natasha Denona, her little palette. <clears throat> I'm not very animated today because still some of that medication is still in me, but I'm okay. It just kind of like slows me down. You know, it's funny because I'm not that sensitive to medication, but for some reason those, um, and they don't even put me to sleep because you have to be awake while they do it. But whatever they give me to relax me stays in my system for at least, you know, well now it's been more than 48 hours. It stays in my system for a couple of days. So yesterday and today I haven't been anywhere. I've been in my house, not going anywhere. So now for lip color. 
I have this one from this is one of those um, lip stories from Sephora and it's like a bronzy color which I really do like I have the Too Faced one that I just showed you guys and which is a matte I may go for that one. I think I'm going to go for the Too Faced one. So I'm going to go with this liner right here from Estee Lauder in Spice. Okay. Maybe I'll do this on the outside and do the other one in the middle, in the center. Let's see what happens. I like the Sephora lip stories. And they're eight dollars, so they're like drugstore price. So that looks okay. I think that looks pretty. So I'm gonna take this uh, Thrive Cosmetics pencil and try to go in my inner corner. That oh my gosh, what happened here? Oh no! Go inside. Okay, that's dangerous. Probably didn't roll it back in last time yeah that highlighter didn't really do much i think that's better that brightens up the eye a little more let's push this all the way in so now let's see if i need to add anything else to it let me take a little more of this gold this gold is beautiful this is the zomni right here no Zam, Z A M N. There's no I at the end. I made that up. Let me take the other side with the lighter gold, Soleil. It's really pretty. This one right here. So like, they're all beautiful. Let me swatch a few of the colors for you. Really pretty. A purple look with this would be amazing. Purple pink look. Wow, that purple one was a little powdery. Okay, these were some of the ones that I did not use. And the one, this one at the very bottom is like a dual chrome. And it's this one right here which is almost like bronzy green. It's very pretty. So anyway, guys, this is it. This is my look. Let me know what you think. Do you like it? I think it's a very pretty palette. Um, I really do like it. I'm enjoying it. Well, I enjoyed it today. It's the first time I use it. But it's definitely different from, uh, I think from some of her other palettes and um i like it i mean like i said i have very little fallout at all i had a little bit with the uh the one that i use in the center of my lid but not bad at all usually with a abh you get a little more fallout but it was it's beautiful it's very buttery um the colors are amazing i really do enjoy it so i really like this look let me know what you guys think all right, guys. Bueno, I love you. Ah, bueno. Okay, so now I'm like Spanglish here. Bueno, I love you. <laughs> okay, guys. As you can see, I'm still a little um under the influence. Okay, I love you. Take care, and I will see you on my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.